Pat, this is Kevin. Wanted to give you another way to connect an iPhone or an iPad to act as a document camera. Um, pretty much for just dedicated uh, work on a piece of white paper or piece of notebook paper. So as the other trainer, the other um, uh, uh, video host said, you start a new meeting and you uh, do not have to uh, really uh, invite a new person. Uh, instead, in fact, let me pull this out of full screen so you can see it. There you go. Uh, so you do not need to invite another person with another account uh, on, your, on your iPhone. All you need to do is click share screen. And the three options include share the desktop, whiteboard, iPhone, uh, iPhone with cable. This option is only available on Macs. I happen to be recording this on my, uh, on my Mac uh, at home. So this version is what um, another suggestion for a way to connect an iPhone or iPad uh, as a document camera. Now it says via AirPlay. On Windows, it doesn't say via AirPlay at all. It just says iPhone, iPad. So we're gonna click that one and we're going to share my phone. So as the instructions say, uh, you need to make sure your iPhone is on the same Wi-Fi network. She didn't mention that. Um, she assumed you know the, knew these steps. You need to turn on screen mirroring. Screen mirroring is um, a newer option. It's basically turning on AirPlay. Um, and it says swipe down from the top right corner. So I'm going to do that on my iPhone, which I'm holding in my hand. And I see uh, an Apple TV in my house. And I see an option for Zoom Mac mini 2018 that means zoom is hosting and it's on my uh, mac mini uh, and you see the entire desktop of my phone but that's not what we want we want to use the camera app uh, skinny so for a student uh, in a conference that might be a little bit tough um, uh, and uh, and kind of smaller so her video maybe has some advantages uh, because of size um, you can of course change how much area you see uh, using the different lenses. Some of the modern um, iPhones have two lenses, some have three. Uh, so you can see a wider view, you can see a zoomed in view, um, and uh, you now balance that on a textbook, uh, on a box, um, you know, carefully strap it down, uh, and now you just pick up your pen and you make a list of uh, questions and you make a to-do list and you do, as she said, you know, some math and we can uh, demonstrate that. And you can either record in Zoom or quite honestly, you could also do your recording right there on the phone. So we're recording for the purpose of training. Uh, the student is of course watching this and doing a math, science or some kind of visual lesson. Um, but to see how you can record it, not even in Zoom, you can just record what your phone sees and uh, and the audio that goes along with it. That's it. Uh, I wanted to show you an, uh, the version of screen sharing with instead of an iPhone with an iPad. Uh, it gives you a much larger field of view because the screen is obviously larger and it's you still using the camera app of the iPad. Um, and uh, it can be used kind of quite simply as a much larger canvas. Um, let's see. Um, I think uh, you can, I'm in video mode. Uh, you can go to photo mode and that's going to give you an even larger area. But do you see how it's still quite smooth? So um, I'm still using the sh uh, screen share capability. Now I'm connected to an iPad and um, I get a much larger field of view. So much better as a document camera. So if someone had a, uh, an iPad at home, they could also use that as a, just a pure document camera using the camera app.